Right before COVID-19, I was at Friday Night Drinks with my buddies, Akvek, Dixon, and Hanpin. We were at Emerald Hill number no. 5, where peanut shells strewn across the floor, and the music was popping. And when you have a group of buddies and plenty of giggle juice, the topic of conversation slowly gravitates towards AI and machine learning, of course. <laughs> No, I kid. Um, dating, right? So I remarked that, hey, dating in Singapore feels a little bit inorganic. 99% um, is on the app. And maybe, maybe I should do something different. Um, maybe I should grow a pair of ovaries and ask someone out in person. And Han Bin, being the action-oriented ex-pro basketball player that he was, he said, eh, tonight lah. Tonight, we're going to make it happen. Pick anyone in this bar, I'll help you. We'll help you. So I giggled so hard. Partially nervous, but mostly really excited. So I scan across the bar. Ooh, guy with salt pepper hair. Oh, with a wedding band. Too married. Ooh, how about that guy? Cute guy with a funky shirt, but Dangling hoop earrings to Metro. Ooh, that cool guy. Headphones in, looking very serious, working, the DJ. I announce my pick to the table. The challenge is on. So as he was busy spinning his disc, my mind was busy cranking. How should I best ask for his number? Ooh. I know, I'm going to write him a romantic letter. So I'm with a pen and some napkins I wrote. If you were a cloud service, you would be called H-A-A-S. That's haughty as a service. <laughs> My friends looked at me and burst out laughing, mocking me on how bad it was. They even showed it to the next table where the two girls shook their head at me in disapproval. <laughs> then the note went around the bar and reached the bartender. I lean in, hoping to get at least one person on my side. And he went, uh, sorry, hon, I'm gay. What? No, that's not what, I wasn't trying to hit on you. Okay, okay, back to the drawing napkin. Maybe, maybe I should be a little bit more customer-centric, you know? Something to do with music, something to do with DJ, maybe. Oh, I got it. Okay. I scribbled something down, folded the note, and picked up the courage to go to the DJ booth. I passed him the note. He unfolded it under a small light by his turntable. And at this point of time, my armpit was already sweating. He looked at me with furred eyebrows, confused, wondering what song request it was. <laughs> because it read, if you drop a beat, I will pick you up in a heartbeat. <laughs> so his eyes widened in recognition. I think he got it. He shot me a sheepish smile and then went back to work. Uh, not exactly the reaction that I was looking for. So with my, with my shoulders slumped, I walked back to my table. And my friends, upon seeing my face, they proceeded to order me another drink. <laughs> and as I was finishing up that said drink, at the corner of my eye, I saw the DJ made his way through the crowd. I instinctively held onto the side of my chair. He was coming closer and closer and finally stopped by our table and everyone fell quiet. <laughs> he first turned to Han Bin and said, oh, how big of a fan he was when he was playing pro. And then the table started talking about his DJing gig, how we, he was at Marquee last Wednesday, blah, 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 completely ignoring the elephant in the room. 
And as he was resuming his second set, he turned to me and asked for my Instagram handle. <gasps> I think I did it. I think we did it. So my friends and I gave each other congratulatory high fives and proceeded to huddle around and to stalk his Instagram account. And that's when I realized he's 10 years too young for me. <laughs> Thank you.